Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufinut, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4, the gunless playthrough with Bayou Bob, who still has no flippin' clue how to use a single gun. We're still at Hallucigen, but we're gonna leave, we actually should leave rather quickly, because yeah, there's this, yeah, experimental gas hanging in the air, so let's just head outside and see what we're going to do. So before we stumbled onto uh, this lovely building, the Hallucigen building, we were actually on our way to uh, save Nick Valentine from his uh, predicament so he can help us find Sean. And uh, yeah, let's go do that now because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm feeling like this is gonna be the majority of the episode today. So let's be on our way. So we're coming up to Boston Common and this... Uh, well, this lovely pond area in the center of Boston. But uh, yeah, I do want to be careful here because it's also the home of one of the most terrifying enemies in the game. He's... okay. Why, why am I taking rats? Why am I... okay. Oh yeah, there's a radioactive barrels in the, the little uh, thing over there, bodega over there. So yeah, over there in the center of the pond you can see something lying there. And that's actually Swan! who's uh, a terrifying huge monster which we're not gonna face right now. Especially with only melee weapons and explosives. So uh, let's just keep going because we're almost where we need to be because we need to go inside of that metro station over there to get to where the, uh, the mobsters are hiding themselves. And I get a prompt for, prompt for Park Street Station and another Idiot Savant prompt and that actually levels us up. So before we head inside, let's just do that. And again, I was carrying another level up, so uh, apparently I kind of forgot that when we were in the Hallucigen building. So now I have uh, two perks to choose from again. So we have a bit of space because, yeah, apparently I don't have anything for Big Leaks is the next level. So Big Leaks level 3 will be the next perk we'll take when we reach level 15. And then level 16 unlocks Blacksmith 2. So we have the two next perks, but for now we can actually choose. And I think, yeah, and 16 is then Ninja 2, which is also very, very nice. But for now, I think I'm gonna go for... Well, I don't want to go for lock picking, so we can hack open advanced locks. And then uh, stealth level 1, so sneak level 1, so 20% harder to detect while sneaking. Or just a point into intelligence. Um, so I think the point in intelligence is definitely needed. So because we're, we're going to have to go towards science eventually, which is ex at 6, so 4 more points needed. I have another idea for that, but we're going to have to do that later on. Uh, and then I think I'm just gonna go for lock picking. So locksmith. Your nimble fingers will allow you to pick advanced locks. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go. So that might help us out in gathering a bit more loot. Idiot Savant, I could get that to level 2 as well, but I think it's overpowered as it is. So uh, let's just head into the Park Street station. So inside of this life preserver, inside of the station, we know he's being kidnapped by... Mobsters well, called the Triggerman. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let it. So uh, these guys actually consist of humans and ghouls, which is interesting. But they do carry guns, so I do have to be careful here. I think yeah, they're inside of the. One of them is inside of the room over there on the. Oh God! I just opened that door in time. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a problem. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. That was a problem. Ooh, let's quickly get some uh, grilled rat stag. And I think I'm going to go for the Rockville Slugger. According to the radar, one of them. Ooh, is really close by. Yeah, so they're all carrying Tommy guns. Which, uh, yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage per bullet, so that's why I survived getting back here, but... There we go. He's a bit weaker, it seems. So four hits will do, hit the weapon out of his hands. And there we go. And now, oh god, where's that coming from? Oh, two directions, two directions, two directions. You know what? I need a beer. Right now. That is... It's a bit weird, but I need a beer. Gonna put my strength up with one point. Just gonna try and there's one over there. 
can't reach that guy. But I can't reach that guy. Critical. And then two more hits, I think. Ooh, three more hits. These, these guys are tougher than I expected. Oh god. So he's over there. So let's just get my action points back. And then I'm going to whack him in the face. As you do. Maybe even with the uh, big gem. Because it does do crippling damage. Is he just going to lose me now? This danger is fading. If he loses... Damn it. If I can actually sneak up behind... Oh god. Nope, nope, nope. No sneaking. Just whacking him with the pointy end. There we go. Five hits. That's a lot, but I did get my critical back. Ow. So that was even a 10 millimeter pistol. Which is why that really hurts. And that was just the first room. So yeah, we're gonna have to rely on stealth attacks in here. Whiskey bottle. Damn it. So I do plan on making Bayou Bob a very, very troubled alcoholic. But uh, yeah, there we go. Bourbon. Thank you. I knew these guys must have uh, had something in the back. So yeah, this was just the entrance to the station, which means we're gonna be facing a lot more where that came from. Gonna have to take a look at my explosives as well, because that's gonna have to uh, be my main damage dealer for now. Ooh, my beer. Oh God. There was a grenade trap inside of the bathroom. That was, that was nasty. Didn't see that happening. Didn't expect that happening. What's this? Bubble gum and a pumpkin. But with that done, let's head down. But don't mind if I do for the ammo box over here. Don't know if there's actually any traps around here. But this is going to be a problem. Because the next area is pretty open. And I don't know if you've uh, you've realized for now by now. But we're only using melee weapons and not guns. So that might be a bit of a problem. I'm gonna try and see if I can, ooh, traps, traps. Did that by any chance trigger a grenade bouquet? Don't see what that was supposed to trigger. So let's head down slowly. Oh yeah, so there's the first one. Damn, these guys are tough. I think I can hit him a few times and then run away. Ah, uh, no, 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 oh, danger, 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 running. So yeah, I think this is how we're going to do this. Trying to get away each time. So that guy is too far away, is too far away, is too far away, is too far away. It's too far away. God damn it. Oh, he's a really weak one. No, no, hit him, hit him. Will you hit him, please? Hit him. There we go. That took way too long. Oh, God, 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 God. A few mines on the top of the stairs. Just in case any of them decide to come down. Uh, up, up. Okay. Is he coming? Oh, he's coming up. He's gonna blow up. Or not. And let's get my frag mines back. I am gonna put two frag mines all the way down there so if they because they do come up here and then I know oh that might just made a little jump and then in the middle of the stairs I'm gonna put a few as well switch back to frag grenades and then Oh god, he ran away. Oh, I did get one. I'm hoping they're gonna come up now. I'm just gonna take a look where that happens. I don't think they're coming. They got, yeah, that guy over there. There we go. A grenade in the face. Yep, oh, there he goes. So why does he actually cross? He's trying to get to me. Kind of wondering how many there are left. Because I'm going to take my mines over here. And then move back down. Because I don't think he knows where I am. There he is. There he is. 
Oh wait, did he? Did he just jump? Oh god! There we go! Sneak attack! So yeah, ghouls. But smart ghouls. I must say, I do feel a little sad that I couldn't use my mines there, that they didn't trigger that. That would have been fun! But yeah, anyway, let's keep going, because there's a... Ooh, yeah, I stepped into the light and there's more triggermen down there. So a person camera. And goodbye. Oh, yeah, there it goes. I think that's it. Oh, God. Oh, shit, he's too far away. He's too far away. There we go. Hi. You heard that, didn't you? He has a very... That's a long name. Maximum capacity hardened submachine gun. Don't really need that. Just gonna take a look around and loot the place before we head on. So that seems to be all the loot I could get, which means I need to push further. And that actually reminds me, I, uh, I'm not drunk anymore. There we go, another beer for me. And the game just auto-saved. Okay, so that seems... Ooh, that's an oil canister. I do want that. And a vault deck lunchbox. Ooh, century bolt model. Thank you for that. So that's kind of a collectible. You can put inside your home. Anybody here? The brackets are pretty stable. Oh, never mind. Should have shut up about that. Anti-freeze bottle. We always pick those up, but I think they're just plastic. Because there's nothing inside of them anymore. I'm just going to hop up here because there's a lot of triggermen around and not much cover so i see three and that there is where we need to go so that's another vault so the vault we need to enter is also the well kind of the base of operations for the triggermen do i still have grenades equipped i do if i could get grenade over there Oh, that didn't kill them? Okay, that killed one. Now they're blind firing in my direction. Okay, so this... Yeah, I saw correctly. I'm out of frag, mine, uh, frag grenades. So, there's just... That guy's stuck behind a pole. So, let's just leave him over there. And I hit him from over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he was a bit stronger. There he goes. And another one. I need another one. He lost his gun. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. He's a weaker one. Luckily, I went for the, the strongest one first. And Idiot Savant goes um, happy again. Or we're smacking Triggerman in the face. Whew, okay. That went better than expected. Didn't even take a shot, I think. And sadly, they drank all the bourbon. Just dropped eight 10 mm pistols. Doesn't look like it, because this is one. But this one is seven 10 mm pistols. So that is... That is nice. But yeah, I think I got all of this stuff. And it's still bags of cement instead of fertilizer. So I still can't make any of my own explosives. Because I still have a lot of baseballs in my inventory to make a few baseball grenades. But sadly, without fertilizer, I can't really do anything with those. Did I? Oh yeah, that's the guy I exploded, probably. Yeah. Sorry about that. And my beer ran out. God damn you. But, Vault 114. Let's open that up with our, uh... Yeah, with our pit boy There we go. Plug it in. Remote access ready. And then push the shiny button. Push the shiny button, Bob. He does know how the buttons work. But not how guns work, remember that. I do love the animation, it's really, really elaborate with lots of noises and... Yeah, light show. And there comes the bridge, and now we need to be careful because I think there's Triggerman already in this room. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think I, yeah, I found a little corner. A little corner for Bio Bob to cower behind. So he's running over... There on the left. Oh god, he's a biggie. Critical. Ooh, that was nice. And there we go. Come on, hit it out of his hands. 
out of his hands. Or dead. That's also good. But there's a, a guy with a baseball bat coming. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Buy your bolt nose weapons. Oh, I crippled his legs. Um. And then... Oh! Holy shit, what the hell was that? That was probably a fancy animation, but I didn't get the third-person camera. Okay! Guy yeah, with a baseball bat, and I did my first block! I am so proud of Bob. He did really nicely there. Um, let's loot around a bit. So as we talked about before, each vault was actually an experiment of sorts, and this one is no exception on the rule. Because uh, if we I just found a terminal, and this explains what the experiment was all about. The experiment was called Social Science Division. As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitating solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families, chosen randomly, will live and sleep in single-room apartments. Dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position for many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates, obviously. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment or harm to residents. Thank you, Voltec Management. So they wanted to see how uh, the people of the upper class would deal with uh, less than luxurious uh, situations and an overseer who's uh, not so pleased with them. So, with that done, let's go deeper into the vault and let's see if we can find uh, Malone. And of course, Nick Valentine, because he's the guy we're looking for. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. So yeah, that's a theory, but it's not what of course happened, because we just read about that. Let's uh Let's get a fragmentation mine in here. That should cause uh their attention. And if they come over here. They might. There they go! I think I got them both with that. That was great. I do love when that succeeds. Yep, there's a lot of human bits and pieces here. Of uh, two, two triggermen, and there went my voice, two triggermen that uh, met an untimely demise. That was easily taken care of. I do need to keep in mind that I'm using fragmentation mines. So not extremely powerful, but of course easy enough to uh, use against humans. Is this? Yeah, this is the next door. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh crap. So this is an annoying area. Another very large open area, but it also has a few different levels, which makes it even harder for a melee character like me to even get something out of this. You know what? This might actually be a good idea for the hallucinogen gas grenades. There we go, right on top of him. Is that... There's gas behind him. He's trying to hit me, but... There we go. That should work, right? God damn it. Just gonna have to whack him in the face. Oh god. Oh god. This is not going well. And then I'm probably gonna get shot in the face by a lot of other guys. So, I took a beer and I've now become addicted to alcohol, which means I need to keep this up if I wanna keep every of everything of my uh, specialties available. Where? Whoop. Okay. There's one be below me for some reason. 
Just gonna try and make my way through here without too much issue. Oh god. Great. I think I gassed myself. Is this ever gonna work? Oh god. God damn you. Get away from me. Away. Away. And now I need to heal. They are firing at each other, so that is kind of working out. They're firing at him. Yeah, and he's firing back. Okay, okay. I think we're fine for now. But there's still a lot of guys over there. I think... Did, did they kill this guy over here? Ooh, yeah. And how? There's a lot of blood down here. I think if I can get on top of the pipes, I might actually be able to enter the next area without... Triggering the other guys. Every second you okay. That seemed to have worked. So, in stark contrast to the other areas of Fallout, vaults are usually pretty well preserved. Which is why this all looks so uh, colorful and shiny. Um, don't mind if I take your money. Where would I have ran off, by the way? I mean, I'm inside of a vault underground with you guys. What would be the logic to stop looking for me? I'm just gonna... Ooh. Do you see me? Do need to be careful, because I know I need to drop down here. And I know they won't follow me down here. Yeah, yeah. ooh, legendary triggerman. Oh god. This is gonna be a problem. And he mutated. One more hit. And a critical, and another one. Yeah, wow, I had a lot of hits in there. Probably because of the Rockville Slugger, I suppose. And that was... Duelist's Leather Left Leg. 10% chance to disarm melee attacker on hits. That is useless, sadly. Although it is, of course, legendary. I'm still not really gearing up for now, so... Might as well equip that. Although, no. I have pocketed studded on my left leg right now. I'm just going to keep that because that's that's a bit better. Oh, one more mud chop. And I do need to take care of my addiction, of course. So I'm going to have to be careful. But we have another terminal. So maybe we can find out something more. Yeah, speak of the devil. I'm going to have to find out more about the vault in here. No, it's the same, it's the same uh, documents as before. So don't you worry about that. Took another beer just because I can. And now we have the addiction again. Well, we're still addicted, but now we don't suffer the consequences of our addiction. Ooh, next area. Okay, so deeper in the vault yet. And I see a few nice things of loot. So let's take the fuse. But then... A undamaged Abraxo cleaner, thank you very much. And purified water, because of course, a lot of things in here are not damaged because of the, uh, well, the vault being tightly shut. Okay, seems to be fine for now. Light bulb is always handy as well. Seems to be some kind of maintenance area. Slide that open and we come to yet another large open area. So up there... How you doing in there, Val? Is Nick. Gonna have to be careful. Alone, more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? Gonna have to be I'll careful. Your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I I gotta smooth this over fast. That's Dino. Oh, God. Let's get Dino. Let's kill Dino. That's three times damage. And now we're gonna have to do normal damage. Did I? I stunned him, but I couldn't get the weapon out of his hands. Come on. Get the weapon out of his hands. Oh, uh, wow. Well, he's dead. So, yeah, naturally he dropped everything. Although his hat nicely stayed on top of his head. He does have a nice hat. A battered fedora. I'm gonna keep that. Thank you very much. There we go. A named character down. He was uh, a bit tougher than the rest of them. Ooh, more bobby pins. That was a nice amount even. Is that beer? Yes. Ice cold quinnet ale. 
Yes, that sounds delicious. Hey, okay, you. that's. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Hi, Nick. So we already knew that he's a, he's a synth, so that's why he kind of looks a bit funny over there. But we have the Overseer door password from Dino. Take a number. 998. Please wait until your number is called and the Overseer will be with you. Have a nice day. Okay. Let's override the door, though. There we go. Hello, Nick Valentine. Let's talk to him if he wants to. Ah, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. Old private eye. So we read his uh, his notes about the mysterious stranger, so we know he's a synth. So that's why he kind of looks like that. His face is half ripped open, and there's mechanical parts sticking out everywhere. Um, uh, finding Sean. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Well, that's anyway, a problem. you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. We will. So thank you, Nick. So now we have a companion. So I think we actually lose the... I don't know if he counts as a normal companion. Okay, bye Valentine. Still have a few things to do in here, but I'm also suffering from my addiction again. So let's get that ice cold Gwyneth Ale a try. There we go. Thank you very much. And then of course we have our next bobblehead, the speech bobblehead. Which is very, very ironic because we're now going to learn who became the overseer of this uh, not so luxurious vault. So all vendors permanently have 100 more caps for bartering now. So let's listen to the interviews. I think I need to do these in order. So that's 87. So let's start with interview number three. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. So clearly oh, not the man already? they were looking for. Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Because we know from the terminal that they were looking for someone who had a really large disregard for authority and didn't really have any supervisory experience. So that's not the guy that we're looking for. So, interview number 21. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. <laughs> what? We just started! Indeed. Because they don't yeah. want anybody like you. Thank you. But sadly not the kind of person they were looking for. But eventually, interview number 87. This is Vault Tech interview number 87. For the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Soup Can Harry. That's right. 
I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Soup Can, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. So yeah, pantless soup can Harry became the overseer of the vault filled with high-ranking officials, politicians, and other high-class people. So uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything extra on this terminal. Nothing of interest. So let's head down with Nick Valentine, baseball bat in hand. And by the way, my beer ran out, so we need something a bit stronger. So let's go with vodka. There we go. Sounds like a very great plan. Hello, Nick. Let's go down. I love how he's sneaking as well, if I'm sneaking. So I, I'm not sure if he counts as a companion. Because that would mean that I lose my lone wanderer perk. I'm just going to check out the rest of the room really quickly. So down into the corridors of Vault 114. There they are. How do you want to play this? Well, sneakily, of course, Nick. I'm a prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Don't know if they're upstairs or... Downstairs. I think they're in the back. Yeah, there they are. Don't know what that was, but it made a noise. Did that kick? Ooh. Yeah, there's a Nuka Cherry that popped out of the Nuka Cola machine. Um, so I think if I just take another fragmentation mine. Toss that out there. There he goes. That's the mine. But, we also have Molotov cocktails. There we go. Oh, that's not a sneak attack. Oh, gold. And hit. Oh, yeah. There's one of them is crippled because of the, the mine. So, let's just use my critical on you. And then hit you down. There we go. So one of them was on the floor because of the mine, but that seems to be it. He didn't even really... Oh, no, no. All right, so that's another bunch of Triggerman dealt with really easy. Ooh, that was a very good 10mm pistol. I'm gonna have to drop that. Because Bob doesn't know how to use flippant guns. Look at all the guns. I just need to drop on the floor because I can't really use them. Damn, it sometimes hurts to do this playthrough. But it is fun to come up with uh, different strategies to deal with everybody here. Because especially levels like this one, is really it really makes everything interesting to deal with all the enemies. I think there's a few in this hallway actually. Don't know what Nick is doing. The vodka ran out as well, which is uh, too bad. Too bad, really, because I thought that was going to take a bit longer. So I think it's high time I just get rid of my addiction for a while um, and just get the refreshing beverage to fix all that. So I made these a few uh, episodes ago. So uh, refreshing beverage cures all addictions, heals 500 HP and removes a thousand rats of the 10,000 you can get. So uh, a very, very nice thing that's really easily made. And I think it's one of the only items that heals that fast on uh, very hard and survival. And in the meantime, Nick has opened up the door and we can go further up to, yeah, all those rooms. All those rooms. But the brackets are shuffling again, so we're not out of Triggerman just yet. So uh, let's batter a few more in the face. Why do we? Oh, yeah, Nick just went right past the Triggerman. That's why the Triggerman just uh, started freaking out. I think his head popped off because of Nick. 
Nick, we're in a gunless playthrough. Please don't do that. I think I can, actually. I think Nick just went ahead. And that's a bit, an, a bit annoying. I'm, I'm confused. Ooh, Astoundingly Awesome Tales. You've collected an issue of Astoundingly Awesome Tales. Gain plus five action points. But I do hear a radio, so let's just shut that down. So yeah, there's a triggerman here. Tried to get uh, rid of the radio, but uh, it's not really... Oh, God. I was out of action points. Let's just run up and hit him in the face. There we go. And there's the other one. It seems to have a bit of a bigger gun. Okay. And I blocked that guy. Blocked that guy. There we go. And there we go. So according to the game, we're still in danger, although it is fading. Yeah, I think it's probably just Nick being um, a bit too enthusiastic about killing all these guys. Let's just open up the wooden crate, because usually those are explosives. Yes, indeed. Two fragmentation grenades. I was out of those. I'm just going to leave the mop in there, though. I don't know why two grenades are right next to a mop, but that's what it was. Ooh, urban. Thank you. Doesn't mean that I, I got rid of my addiction, but it doesn't mean that Bob doesn't like alcohol any. Oh. Whiskey. Whiskey bottles? Are they all whiskey bottles? Which one of you mugs said you saw something? Yeah, I think, yeah, they're all whiskey bottles. Ooh, and clean food and everything. It's so lovely in here. I love vaults. Vaults have nice things. So, done a bit of looting, so let's head further. There's still at least two more Triggermen upstairs. Because they've been screaming on the top of their lungs constantly. A fitness instructor. Yes, Nick. Uh, a fitness instructor was in charge of creating this vault. That sounds... That doesn't sound like a crazy Wait. thing. Jesus, my stealth sucks. My sneak skill sucks, monkey balls. Yeah, he must have seen Nick, right? Oh. Let's just save Nick out of his troubles and a critical. Okay. Critical? Or not. Let's just do it like this then. Goodbye. He lost his arm and he's bleeding profusely. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Because Nick started hitting as well. I wanted to do something. Nick, get. I want to give, I want to give Nick a baseball bat and get rid of his gun. Because this is not how we do things, Nick. This is not how we do things. More whiskey. I do love these guys. Just because of the amount of booze they... Well, they still have. Because they have drank, drunk a lot of booze as well. But more whiskey over there. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Very, very nice. If I was a smoker, I would have gotten a lot of cigarettes as well. But those are bad for your Getting health. Alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic. But don't let that fool you. He's Nick. Dangerous. Stop. Walking away. God damn it. But I'm guessing he's not because my damage resistance is pretty good. So I don't think he actually counts as a companion, which is good for me. But now for the next thing, I'm going to have to try something. I think for the next bit, the hallucinogen gas grenade is going to be perfect. I only have two of them left because I've been throwing them around way too fast. But... This is should be perfect for the gas grenade. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Well, kinda. So encourage the violence, convince her to leave. Uh, we're not so charismatic at the moment, so I'm gonna just 
Just, just, yeah, thank you. Just gonna, just gonna put my charisma stuff on, so I'm just gonna try and convince her to leave. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these things. <coughs> oh, yes, it worked. What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla, where, where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye. But I don't know how Skinny is going to react to this, by the way. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Oh, I don't even need... Um, yeah, let, let's get out of here. Bye, Skinny. Yeah, bye, bye, Skinny. I'm leaving. He's actually counting. He is actually counting. That is interesting. I've never finished this quest like this. Um, bye, Skinny Malone. Nick, you coming? Because Nick is a bit slow these days. He's an old synth. An old robot, it seems. Nick? Nick? Ah, oh, there he is. Wait, what? Is there... I totally missed that. Um, I'm hoping Skinny Malone isn't mad at me. Did I go in here? Is this always here? Okay, never mind. Um, by the way, before we head out, I'm just gonna swap out my charisma gear as well. Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for Natu It looks out. pretty blue right now, actually. How do you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Well, uh, Ellie told us. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. Indeed we did. Come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Yes, indeed. So, uh, thank you, Nick. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Because I'm gonna pay a visit to Sanctuary as well to just dump everything there. Unlikely Valentine completed. No idiots of prompt, luckily. So that means we just get 200 experience points. Um, I am gonna just, as I said, I'm just gonna go to uh, Sanctuary really quickly now. And then we'll head back to Diamond City. See you guys in a second. So on the way back, I'm paying a little visit to Oberland Station since we helped those people out by uh, clearing the radius from Backstreet Apparel. So let's talk to the settler. Really? There we go. Oberland Station freed. Let's head back to Sanctuary and tell that to Preston for another bit of experience. Hi, Preston. Hi, Preston. Freedom's always worth fighting for. Preston. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. So as usual, we get another uh, one of the settlements we could help out. And there we go, leveled up. So that's a bit easier, so we just need to go to the location and clear everything out. And it's Starlight Drive-In, so that's fine. We could do that, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We'll do that later on. So, uh, first, Seems I'm just going to well. just gonna loot uh, everything over here, because apparently the people aren't doing it. Oh, and there's a merchant here. So that is Trash Can Carla. So let's talk to her. Maybe she has some fertilizer. Oh, yes. She has two bags of fertilizer. I will take those off your hands. There we go. Fertilizer for me. So let's take a look around at what we can make with that. So mines, I think I'm going to turn all five. No, I'm only going to be able to make four. Just going to make one for now, a bottle cap mine and then grenades, baseball grenades also need two fertilizer and fragmentation grenades. I can make that as well because of demolition two. Let's make one baseball grenade and two fragmentation grenades. There we go. And a Molotov cocktail for good measure. There we go. Explosives filled up again. And then, of course, we'll level up. 
And leveling up, we know what we're going to take. Big Leaks 3 has unlocked at level 15. We need to do more and more damage because we saw with the Triggerman we were struggling a bit. So uh, you, knew, you now do 60% more melee weapon damage and gain an increased chance to disarm your opponent. Very, very nice. So back in Diamond City, let's take a look at um, Nick Valentine's proposal. Mechanical Menace. Oh yeah, we're level 15, so that means Automatron is activated as well. We'll do that later on, so that's the first bit of DLC we can actually do. But, back at Valentine's Detective Agency, let's go with the main quest a bit further now, and then we'll see what we'll do after that. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's I'm stuck. to take this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, sarcastic? Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here. Ooh, I she could laugh with that. I the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know. Ooh. If Warren you Fedora. Talk, don't mind putting on the detective hat. I got Nick's hat a and a trench coat. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Ooh. Well, I, I will surely do that, Nick. Thank you. There we go. Sit our find bit of a fat ass down. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. So, let's describe the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Well, we can describe the murder. My wife was murdered she was trying to keep them from taking sean and they they just it's okay you don't need to say anything more so we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence anything else you remember so yeah we could go on but I, I, i'm just wondering nick how do you feel sitting across that guy, because he kind of looks silly. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? Yeah, well, we can describe our son, of course. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. We've seen all of those in the meantime, so probably the Institute, uh, since it's particularly a baby that they went for and it's kidnapping, not killing, I suppose it's not going to be super mutants or raiders. Gunners don't seem to have a use for babies either, so it's probably the Institute so then. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. So that's interesting. So he's a prototype, so he's one of the very earliest models of synths. But he still has, well, he kind of has a personality and everything, so, uh, you don't know anything. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. 
And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Sounds logical, so let's focus on finding Sean. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Um, bald and scarred. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um, no. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Okay, so he might... It might be Sean. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, well, we've been in cryostasis. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Where's the camera going? Snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for the concern, but before we head further with uh, Nick Valentine, I need to get up from this seat, but we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to do the investigation in Diamond City, look around a bit for more quests, and we're going to start gearing up because we're starting to lose our edge a bit. Uh, we don't do as much damage as we did at the beginning of the game. Uh, especially since we saw that with the Triggerman that we needed to hit them a lot more than we, well, we needed to before. So we need to get some upgrades. We're going to get that in level 16 when we reach Blacksmith 2, but there's a few other things we can do. But that's for the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Fallout 4 Gunless.